Okay, here we go. I'm here with Hillary Momberkat. Did I get it right that you time? You did. Like dead well, on? Done. Okay, good. That's only the seventh try. <laughs> That's it. No, I'm just Hillary is the uh, station manager for More FM and The River, 101.1 .1 and 105.1, respectively. And um, since they've become a member of Barter Pay, obviously I've tuned in to listen to the stations. Thanks. And I can say with all sincerity, uh, the transformation that has occurred on these two radio stations is nothing short of remarkable. The music content is fantastic. It's very, to me, my own personal one that I like the best is 101.1. It fits my, you know, my, my demographic and the music that I kind of like. Uh, 105.1, though, I turn to as well, like great oldies on there, but mixed with some, some new stuff. But I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't be the one babbling on about all of this, you know, radio stuff. I think I want to turn it over to uh, Hillary here. Um, you've had the station since February the 1st, you said, right. I think. Yep. And, and again, the transformation has been remarkable. I'll let uh, Hillary tell, tell you a little bit about it. Well, thanks, Dave, and hi, everybody. And uh, we invite you to come and visit us anytime you want at 1051 or 1011. Uh, we are uh, Niagara Falls' only locally licensed radio station, uh, CJED, which is the river, 105.1 FM. And uh, More FM, CFLZ, is Fort Erie's only locally licensed radio station. And um, on the river, we play what we call contemporary hit radio, uh, which is today's hits with uh, some great classics, uh, some recent classics. And on More FM, we play the very best in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And uh, we are uber focused on being local. Our whole c commitment to community is reflected in everything we do on the air and our news content and our social media platforms. And uh, we're a small staff of about 15 people uh, that are trying to get more connected and more involved in the community uh, as, as days go by and the weeks go by. As Dave mentioned, you know, we're, we're licensed as of February, so we're kind of brand new out of the box and uh, we're uh, working our very hardest to uh, to reflect the needs and the and the community interest of Niagara I, Falls, Fort Erie, and the Niagara region. I, I I'm glad Hillary Hillary brought up the uh, news content, because I on 101.1. I don't think I've listened to 105.1's news content enough yet, but on 101.1, I think of the music formatted radio stations in the area. It's by far the best local content that you're going to get. Thank you. If you're turning into those newscasts hourly. Is yes, that correct? In mornings and afternoons. Mornings yes. and afternoons, hourly. It, it's uh, um, uh, par none. Thank you. Uh, absolutely amazing and totally focused on the local communities. And, I, and I, I think it's, you know, even from a personal point of view, it's refreshing to see a media company come in and invest back not only into the station to make it, it really is a great station, um, Thanks, but investing back into the community as well. Now you've got all local uh, personalities. All personalities. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah, we, uh, you know, uh, on the music and appreciate the, those comments. You know, we we did a lot of research in the marketplace to see exactly what uh, Fort Erie and Niagara Falls and the Niagara region in general wanted to hear. So our our music is very well researched, and so every song we know matters, and uh, we, we pay very particular attention to make sure that kind comments like yours are reflected in, in our listeners, and we welcome all feedback from people that are, uh, you know, they're listening to us, making suggestions on things we should play more of or less of, and uh, the announce staff is uh, very committed on uh, on the river 105.1. Our morning team is uh, ben, uh, Barn and Marie, and uh, in middays we have Dana French. Afternoons is Andrew G. And then on uh, More FM on 101.1, our uh, morning team of Lena and Mike is followed by uh, Paul Lang in middays, and we have our program director Lisa Dagno who uh, does afternoon drive. And we have you know uh, three people in our newsroom that are committed to. You know, Finding you know whatever matters in the in the area and making sure that we ref reflect that in our news and in our spoken word content. So when you I, and, and I, I'm not suggesting this. I, I mean, take the time, go to 101.1 or 105.1 or both. I mean, plug them both into your cars and and at your home and listen to it for a while. Please. I I think you'll. Uh, you'll be more than pleasantly surprised. Yeah, yeah. And if you're an advertiser in the area, I, I mean, as the uh, listenership goes up and up and up, uh, reaching these particular demographics on the two stations, 
uh, you should be on these stations as well. Thank you, Dave. We, our, our focus is adults 25, 54. Okay. And we've got a nice blend of male and female uh, uh, audience on, uh, on the river. It tends to be uh, slightly more female skewed, and on more FM, it, it tends actually to be a little more male skewed. So we, we bring that, that adult 2554 demo uh, very nicely to complement uh, whatever the advertiser's uh, customer uh, needs might be. So uh, we like to say our listeners can be your customers, and we'd love to uh, do business with you. So welcome to uh, Niagara Hillary. Thank you. And when Hillary did this, I thought he was trying to cover up his uh, Dallas Cowboys oh, uh, pin here. But we won't hold it against him, so we'll sign off now. Listen to 101.1, 105.1. You will love it. Signing off. Go, go Bills, go.